Hi, I'm John from morebikes.co.uk. I'm here with Trevor from All Year Biker. He's going to clean my bike for me. He's going to show you how a professional cleans a bike and then he's going to show us how he's going to prepare it, keep it protected from rust and corrosion for a full 12 months. So I'm going to go and put my feet up and let him get on with it. First thing I'm going to do is uh, pre-rinse the bike. That um, takes off any loose dirt and moistens up and softens any heavy deposits. Next stage is to apply the um, degreaser. This is our own product, Halo Smart. Um, the unique thing about this is it's a combined product. So for heavy soil initially, it's used neat as a degreaser. After that, we dilute it down and it becomes the shampoo. Basically, what I'm gonna do is spray it on and then agitate with a soft brush. Next stage is the shampoo. Like I said, it's exactly the same stuff, it's just diluted down. So we start off giving a spray over the whole of the bike. Liberal coating over the whole bike, and then just go around and agitate, same as we did with the degreaser. With the odd spurt of shampoo on top again. Right, the shampoo and degreaser is on there now and it's um, had a chance to do its job so we now use the pressure washer to do the um, shampoo rinse off. Contrary to what you think, it's okay to use the pressure washer on the bike as long as you use it properly, like any tool. As you can see, constantly moving the nozzle to so that the spray is not in any one particular place at a time. Again, the um, closest to the tip to the surface that you're washing will reduce the pressure. So I'll only go up to a certain level um, with the tip of the nozzle itself. Now we've got the bulk of the dirt off, I can just go around and I've spotted a couple of places where I could do with a bit more degreaser. So with your degreaser, um, if it's first attempt it's not taking it off, um, you don't need to go around rubbing harder, just rinse off and then reapply and allow the chemicals to do their work. Again, just spray it on and gently agitate. These chemicals are designed to work in moist conditions, so if it's a nice sunny day like this and the bike's starting to dry out, just use the fresh washer to mist over and keep everything moist. Brake dust can be particularly dam damaging to your bike, so this bike doesn't particularly need it, but if it does, after the shampoo stage, um, we just spray it on. Maximum spray on, agitate with a brush, maximum dwell time of one minute. Again, just lightly agitate. Next stage, I'm going to apply our own specially developed traffic film remover. It's been developed specially for use on bikes, and it's to remove any waxes or silicons that are left on the bike to give the ACF50 the absolute best chance of bonding to the metal surfaces. Once the traffic film remover has done its job, we'll rinse off. Um, this is the most, probably the most important stage as far as the chemicals are concerned. So we want to get, make sure that absolutely all of them are off. So we use two stage process, um, starting at the top and working down first with the um, jet wash and then I'll turn it down so it's a sheet wash um, for the final rinse.
I'm also doing during this process is watching the runoff, making sure there's no suds left in the water that's coming off the bike. Obviously, dirt and grime is going to hit from the front of the bike, so what we do with the radiator is flush it from the back first and then um, from the front. That way you're driving any dirt and flies that are in the front of the radiator um, out off the bike. Finish off from the front. I've checked the bike and I've got to, I've got a nice good squeak test, but I'm just going to finally finish off with the sheet wash just to make absolutely sure that all the chemicals are off. The pressure washer on the lower setting like this, you can get right in to the instrument panels without worrying about doing any damage. Now going to move on to drying the bike. Uh, we use two tools for that. First is a microfiber waffle weave cloth for the large areas. That just soaks up the um, large surfaces. Much more effective than the chamois leather. Once we've got the bulk off, we can now move on to using the next tool, which is a car and bike dryer. That, um, this blows warm air and gets into all the nooks and crevices, um, especially around the switch gear. With the switch gear, um, we don't blow directly in because that forces the water in further. Put the nozzle across the switch and that will create a venturi effect and draw the water out. Okay, bikes with radiators, when it comes to the drying, pose a, a little um, special issue. Um, so we apply the same principle as we did with the flushing. Um, we blow the water out from the back first, and you'll see a sheet of water coming out. There. We've now cleaned the bike, we've got the, um, all the um, dirt and any um, waxes off. We're now ready to um, put the ACF 50 on. So before we do that, we don't want it on the tyres or the brakes, so we'll mask those off. We're now ready to apply the ACF 50. Um, that's pressure misted on, um, and this gives us a 70%, up to 70% better penetration um, of the ACF 50 onto the bike. Okay, we've pressure misted the ACF 50 onto the bike. Um, because we want to get the full penetration into the inaccessible parts, we will get some um, areas where it's too heavy. So we just wipe off the excess with a clean cloth. This wax has been specially developed 
it's got um, a mild cleaner in it so it'll take off any fingerprints and it's PTFE based um, wax and I'll just smear that on all over the paintwork and then in a minute I'll buff it up Okay, that's it, finished. Um, one shiny clean bike, but better than that, it's protected from corrosion for up to 12 months. If you want more information, visit the website allyourbiker.co.uk.